Hey guys! Today I'm doing one of my most requested videos, which is how I store my plant supplies. Am I the best person to ask about this? Probably not. Am I super organized? No. <laughs> Quick note, all of the supplies I show you in this video are my tried and true supplies I use quite frequently-ish, eh, kind of frequently-ish for my plant maintenance, my plant care, keeping the little plant babies happy. So I will have links in the description box so you can try some of my favorite products for yourself. Let's just get into it. I bought these little cubes, these wicker cube baskets from Ikea. They have a lot of really similar ones on Amazon though if you don't have Ikea near you. This one here has my plant supplies. So we're gonna pull it out and I'm gonna show you everything that's in it. This is kind of miscellaneous supplies that I use more frequently. <laughs> As I've stated, I'm not an organized person. Neem oil, have it in here. I use this quite often. Anytime I bottom water my plants in the shower, I douse them with this and let them dry off after watering. Next, I keep my giant mosquito bits in here. You guys know since the very beginning of my plant journey, this is a product I use, I swear by. I don't see fungus gnats in my household anymore since I started using these. So yeah, we got mosquito bits. Here I have some pumice. Don't know why this is in here. This should actually be where I keep my soil and stuff like that, but it's in here, so whatever. Then I also have this diatomaceous earth, which I've also talked about in quite a few different pest videos. Along with that, if you order this specific kind, which again, I'll have linked, it comes with the duster where you kind of, you load the DE into this little poof thing and then you can squeeze it and it dusts your plant. So yeah, have that in here as well. I also have this large thing of rocks in case I decide I ever want to put them in a pebble tray or on the top of the soil. This just goes to show how unorganized I am. I have this little bowl of more little pebbles, but not only that, I have this brush, Mary Kay makeup brush that I actually sometimes use to apply diatomaceous earth if I like don't want to load my plant somewhere into the shower and squirt it down in there. I'll just kind of dip this into the diatomaceous and then like coat my plant with it. It works really well. Um, that's just sitting there. Need better storage. What is this? I don't know. It's another little brush. Also in here are my fly, yellow sticky fly traps. I really like these for a variety of different insects. You just plop them in the soil. They'll pick up whatever crawls across it, especially for thrip and fungus gnats and spider mites actually. Horticultural charcoal, which again should be probably with my soil mixture supplies. I'll show you in a little bit. And then next I have marvel beads. I had some video ideas I was going to try with these. These are those things that are teeny tiny and you let them sit in water for a few hours and they grow to be like marble sized. Um, I have some video ideas I was going to try with them. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So that's why these are in here. We'll see if I end up doing it. Truth be told, I just wanna play with marble beads. Oh, you know what? This is for cleaning my humidifier. That's what this is because now that I realize, I have all my extra humidifier supplies. So there's an extra remote, some extra filters, all of the instructions, things like that, just sitting at the bottom of this basket. That's what that little brush is too. So this is extra filters, things like that, just sitting down there. I've been looking for these! This is not inherently, I guess, a plant supply. They are eye hooks, I think is what they're called. They like screw in and they're little circles so you can like hang things from them. I have a DIY video I've been meaning to do with these and I went to go film it and I couldn't find these, so. Gonna load it back up, hopefully a lot better. So those are all the supplies I have in, in this wicker basket inside my house. I should also mention, um, I'm out of this plant supply right now, but I do keep my dehydrated sphagnum moss in this basket as well with all of these supplies usually. I'm out of it though, thought I would mention it, and I do keep the opened bags of the sphagnum in a large Ziploc bag. One of the big, big babies. Yeah, that also normally goes in there as well. Okay, so there is the wicker basket we just went through and I showed you, but over here, next to this little shelf thing, I have next to that some bamboo plant stakes. These are two feet long. 
Uh, I actually don't think I've ever had a link for these in the description, so I'll go ahead and link these. These come in so handy, especially for staking my larger plants on a whim. If I notice something is like drooping, getting too top heavy, I can just go ahead and really quick put one of these in the soil, tie it up until I'm able to come up with a more uh, substantial solution like a moss pull or something. So yeah, I just keep these here for now. Fits like a glove. And those are only like $3, so highly, highly recommend. And if you thought that was unorganized and random, we're now headed outside where the real madness begins. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to have to voice over the video because my little neighbor dog is so yippy and would not stop screaming all day. So here we are. Anyway, this is where I store most of my potting supplies and planters, things like that. So yeah, as you can see, again, there is really no rhyme or reason to this. I definitely need to come up with a better method, some sort of like shelving solution so I can organize these pots by size maybe a little bit better. I mean, there's like soil in some of the pots. There's saucers everywhere. I can never find them. Uh, you guys, I'm just being so real with you. This is how I store my plants. Not great, not too great. So then also on my back patio, I have this shelf thing. Um, here are some more potting supplies. This is where I do most of my potting, of course. So there are my potting gloves. I have some extra planters right here that I have been bringing in and out every time I go to repot a plant because it's too cold to do it outside right now. So I have to haul a load indoors in order to pot. And I just haven't ended up using these ones yet, but I do think they're very, very cute. And then this is my little uh, box thing I use to keep soil in for easy mobility. Is that the word? Mobility. Then just down on the bottom shelf, I have this beach towel thing. It's just a really thin towel I use to lay out now to keep things more cleanly as I'm repotting. It helps. I can just kind of wad it up in a ball and shake it out outside. Then I have some propagation vessels or some things I use again to keep soil in as I'm bringing it in and out. Uh, then here I have my favorite black gold all-purpose potting mix. I swear by this stuff. Plants love it. And I also have some black gold perlite, both of which are linked in the description. And I just keep these in a large like Tupperware thing, tote thing. Here I have some more soil. This is soil that I'm going to reuse and disinfect that I've taken from other plants. And then just another pot and a little pancake mixer thing that I use for water. <laughs> We are getting handy here. <laughs> and then just stored right under this thing, I have this large uh, tote. I don't know what it's called. Um, this thing comes in so handy. I can repot in this thing, keep it really clean once again. But then I also use this to bottom water my plants, especially in the summer when I'm able to do it outdoors. I'll just fill it up with water and some fertilizer and allow my plants to sit out there, soak up some sun. And then also uh, be watered. Yeah, they love it and it makes it really easy. So there is the complete shelf. <laughs> this is everything I store outside, turning you around. There's the planters I showed you earlier. You can see not my best work, but we will get organized. 2020 is the year. I can feel it in my bones. We have more supplies indoors that I forgot about. Um, I have this little wicker basket just down here at the bottom of my cube shelf and it has some kind of random things in it. I have my moisture meter in here. This puppy was like $10 or less and it works like a charm. It's actually a three-way meter. It tests moisture, light, and pH. I only use it for moisture at the moment though. Then I also have skewers. These are skewers that you use to cook with. These are great to just kind of grab and use as steaks the same way I would use those bamboo steaks I showed you a little bit ago, except on smaller plants. So if I'm having a smaller plant that's starting to get a little droopy, getting a bit too long, then I'm not ready to like repot it and give it an actual substantial moss pole or something to help support it. I'll just pop one of these in there, tie it up with a piece of twine, and it holds it over until I'm ready to do the actual work of repotting and all of that. So these come in very, very handy. I also have some extra macrame plant hangers that I am not currently using in here. If I decide I wanna hang up another plant, I can come to this basket and have some options to choose from. So 
Yep, keep those in here as well. And that is everything I keep in this little basket. This is kind of a random little section, but I do keep some mason jars that I'll use for like propagating and things like that. If I buy a product, any products that come in glass bottles, I'll keep them in here as well to use for propagation. And then any like Pyrex or um, little dishes I find for really cheap at the thrift store that I think would be good for bottom watering, I also keep in here. Yeah, that's that. That is how I store all of my plant supplies. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. If you have any better storage solutions for when I get moved into my new place, let me know that as well. I'd really appreciate it. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.